Hello, my name is Tim Gerhardt. Today we're going to change out the solenoid valve assembly, actually the inlet solenoid valve assembly, for the Fistream 3. This is the 8 liter per hour system, but it's also the same inlet solenoid valve assembly that's set up for the 4 liter by distiller and also the 4 liter system. And that inlet solenoid valve assembly part number is the PM0012-3. And today we're going to show you how that, what that assembly looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the right side panel on the Fistream 8 liter per hour system. This is the same panel, of course, for the 4 liter by distiller and also the 4 liter Fistream 3 system. You want to make sure your power is disconnected and your water shut off to the system. Then you're going to use a Phillips screwdriver. You're just going to remove the four screws on the right side panel. This will allow you access to the inlet solenoid valve assembly right here. Now that we have the right side panel removed, I've disconnected our outlet to our condensers. This is for the 8 liter and the bi distiller. There's going to be just a piece of tubing coming out of here, a rigid tube that goes to the very back. And for the 4 liters, it's, it's a disc, disconnect here that has a, a silicone, blue silicone tubing connected up to it. You just re, re, remove that from there with a the John Guest fitting. Just press down on this ring, pull out on the fitting. That's what we're going to do down here. You press down on that ring, the gray ring, and you pull out on the piece of tubing. But first, we're going to go ahead and rotate these solenoids out out of the position so we can actually remove the wires. Just simply pull up on the two wires, set those aside. Then we've got those removed. We're going to go ahead and press down on the ring down here. Works really nice if you've got this tool. You can push down on that O-ring or on the ring and pull up on the fitting. At the same time you need to remove this fitting. That will allow you to pull up on the complete assembly once you have this one removed from the elbow. Now the complete assembly can just come sliding out. This is your John Guest fitting. This is the ring that you pull down on. You pull out on the tube and that will pull it apart. This is a grip ring where it grabs a hold of the, of the actual two piece of tubing. When you want to put these back together, you simply just slide them back in all the way past the o-ring and they'll stop. Now that we removed the complete assembly, we're going to take this piece of tubing out because this comes new with the unit. So take the tool here, just push down on that ring on both sides of the ring and then pull up on the tubing and the tubing comes out. Okay, now that we've removed the solenoid valve assembly, we're going to, we're going to install the new one which comes with all the plumbing you see here. You're going to need to connect up the inlet to where your inlet water comes in this port and then out of this port, directly out of the top of this port, it's going to go into the inlet here. This is a recirc which goes to the back side of the drain valve assembly which is another 90 degree elbow down there. You can wet these a little bit with some water, slide those in place, just make sure they two both line up, press down on them, they just press into place slide down to the John Guest fitting and these will slide nicely over to the side into these openings. Then you're just going to attach your two yellow wires to the bottom solenoid, two orange wires to the top solenoid and they will rotate out for you like that. And depending on whether or not you've got the 8 liter per hour or the bi distiller, there's just going to be a piece of tubing coming out of here that goes to the very back into a T. Or if it's a four liter, there's going to be a restrictor in here with a piece of silicone tubing, John Guest, or with a hose barb fitting connected up to that into this John Guest fitting. So that's how you assemble the drain valve assembly on a five stream three distillation system. Now we have everything back in place. We're putting our panel back on, our right side panel. Have our four screws. We're going to need to locate the four holes to put our screws back down through. And then you're ready to operate the unit because you get your solenoid valve set back in place. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.